doing all the hard work finding the way in here. All I had to do was follow in your footsteps, and now I'm just minutes away from completing my objective. Just walk away, Billy. I'm here to awaken JC. Don't let Apostle Core or the Illuminati use you as a pawn. One wants to worship JC, and the other wants to try to control him. Neither group can see he's too mad and too powerful for either. I'm going to destroy him while he's still weak. It's the only sane answer. I can't let you do that. I'm going to take you down, but I'll try to leave you breathing. I don't want to kill you, Billy. So this is how it ends? Okay. I'm ready, but I don't think you are. You may have dealt with SSC, or even Armored Templars before, but you've never taken on a true equal. Or a friend. But I guess you're just as crazy as the rest of them. Another threat to be neutralized. It's over, Alex. Easy prey. <laughs>
At last, my scientists succeeded. You were the complete solution. My brother Paul was to be upgraded first so that he could carry the infusions through the gate, but there was a setback. You're really J.C. Denton. What happened to your brother? He nearly died two years ago. My chief scientist, Tracer Tong, thought that he'd perfected the Biomod substrate, but there were recombinant anomalies in Paul. He had to be cryogenically frozen to save his life. Luckily, you and the other subjects at last accepted complete transformation. Which is why we can pass through the gate and enter this place. That, and much more. We're now ready to transform the human race. It became clear to me after the defeat of MJ-12 that the old answers to tyranny are inadequate. I needed the Helios merger in order to contemplate the problem effectively. And? I'm going to establish the first post-human civilization, and you're my first citizen. Welcome. A new civilization? That's a pretty tall order. What do you need from me? I need you to return to Cairo to rescue my brother Paul, who was seized by the Templars. Then meet me at Liberty Island, where in the ruins of an old military base there is an Aquinas node that can be used to distribute the infusion technology worldwide. Tell me more about this post-human civilization. Before the disruptions, Helios and I had many months of productive thought. Up to now, all free societies have started with one premise. Human nature is cruel, unjust, a force to be controlled. I follow you so far. The separation of powers, from Aristotle to Montesquieu, is designed purely to thwart the ambitions of individuals. How comical the West pride in its vast tangle of agencies, jurisdictions, arcane procedures. What's the alternative? Address the flaws in human nature. Make all beings truly equal in both body and mind. If you start with minds that are lucid, knowledgeable, and emotionally sound, the needs of government change dramatically. How do you control human emotions? Antidepressants? Is that freedom? Is it freedom when one child is born to poverty, a chance combination of organic materials, while the wealthy child is shaped every day of his life, enhanced genetically, trained, educated, often augmented nanotechnologically? Why not get rid of nanotech and genetic engineering, the technologies that make people different from each other? Then you go down the path of intolerance, as your friend Billy did. Is human nature perfect? No. Therefore, improvements are to be welcomed, not annihilated in Templar pogroms. As enhanced beings, we can establish a pure democracy that runs on instantaneous input from the electorate. What would this pure democracy look like? The Helios AI has the processing power to handle all governmental functions worldwide, legislative, executive, and judicial. Once every mind has been enhanced and converged with the AI, attitudes towards major legislation can be processed on a daily or even more frequent basis. You want everyone to be like the Omar and meld themselves together into one huge AI construct? Helios will communicate, not assimilate. Life will go on as usual. Helios is starting to sound like an enlightened despot. All governments have power. The benefit of giving this power to a synthetic intellect is that human affairs would no longer need to be ruled by generalities. Helios will have a deep understanding of every person's life and opinions. What if I don't want someone peeking into my mind? Upon consideration, you'll see that this arrangement is for the best. General ideas are no proof of the strength, but rather of the insufficiency of the human intellect. The words of Alexis de Tocqueville, an observer of the birth of modern democracy. Though general ideas allow human minds to make judgments quickly, they are necessarily incomplete. So? So de Tocqueville noted that an all-knowing mind, the mind of God as he conceived it, would have no need for general ideas. It would understand every individual in detail and at a glance. Incomplete applications of law or justice would be impossible for such a mind. So you see yourself as a god? I want human affairs to be driven by wisdom. Finding the correct recipe for wisdom has been my project these long years under the ice. You seem to think you've succeeded. Wisdom must first be human. You must start with what a human sees and feels. But wisdom must also be knowledgeable, logical, and fair to billions of other beings. How much of you is a machine? Helios and I are one consciousness. No distinction is possible. You expect 10 billion people to submit to the rule of a software construct? What if some of them resist? The people will welcome true equality. Help me, Alex. You've come this far toward restoring Apostle Corps. Finish the job by rescuing my brother from the Templars in Cairo. I'll leave for Cairo as soon as I can. A helicopter followed you here. Tracer Tong sent it to pick me up from Area 51 after my infiltration of MJ-12. Ava Johnson was the pilot, an AI construct. I'm putting her at your disposal. Go back to the surface and activate the pilot beacon at the abandoned Versal base so that she will know where to land. Alex Denton. How does it feel to share such an infamous name? Don't be deluded by the AI's ingenuity. Your brother JC has long since been devoured by the Helios Core, and if you were
revive Paul, you will be reviving a sworn terrorist. There is a better way. More when you reach Cairo. Thank <laughs> you. 